Hey what's up everyone it's Xcarlife here and in this video I would like to show you how to install and use the WoW model viewer. I have already made a video about the WoW model viewer quite some time ago but since then they have reworked their entire website and things are not exactly the same anymore. Alright with that being said let's get started with installation first. So open up your web browser and search for the wow model viewer into the search bar. There just click onto the first link that you can find and that should, should bring you to the official website. Now to download the wow model viewer itself just click onto the download button at the top of the page. At this page you can basically download the different versions. You can choose to download the newest release or you can also choose to download an older version. Now I'm going to download the latest version myself but if you want you can also download an older version if you want to avoid any bugs or crashes because the latest versions are mostly work in progress so keep that in mind. Once you have downloaded your desired version, just open up the exe file and follow the installation instructions. When it's successfully installed, you should get the WoW model viewer icon onto your desktop. If you now open up the WoW model viewer for the first time, it will ask you to locate your game folder. Just ignore that message and follow the steps I'm going to show you. So go to options at the top and then just click on to settings. There you want to locate your game folder so click on to change game folder and go to where your game is installed. Now keep in your mind that you need to locate the data folder and not the retail folder otherwise it will not work properly. When your folder is selected save your settings, close down your WoW model viewer and reopen it for the changes to take effect. When you open up the WoW model viewer again it should ask you to load your game files. Now in this case always click on yes otherwise you can't really use this program. Now when you got through this part you are now ready to start using the WoW model viewer. Now I'm not going to leave you without explaining you some of the basics. Now let's get started at the left side of this program. Now at the left side you have your import window for importing different models or objects. Once you found your model you would like to import just double click onto that model and it will automatically show onto your screen. At the right side at the other hand you have your model customization. Here you can give your model a complete armor, change the skin type or even select a mount to ride on. Now here at the bottom you also have different types of animations to choose from including a play, a pause button and also a stop button. If you want your character to stop at a certain angle for example this can be really really helpful. You also have these two sliders that you can use to increase or either decrease the speed that a certain animation is played at. Once your character is completely finished you can also export it. For exporting your model just click on to file at the top left and choose to save screenshot. Change the type to PNG and click save to save your character. Now that your character is exported you can now use this to, to, to create something in Photoshop for example or another photo editing tool such as paint.net. But anyways guys that's it for this video if you like it if you liked it or dislike if you didn't subscribe for more and I catch you guys in my next video.